You're watching Fox and Friends. Good morning! <laughs> you look lovely. Welcome to Fox and Friends. I'm Steve Ducey, here with the lovely Brian Kilmeade and Ainsley Earhart. Hey, everybody. Happy early Thanksgiving and Wakanda forever. Yeah. I don't think we're allowed to say that. Uh, everybody chill. <laughs> well, what a terrible week for the GOP. The Dems are retaining control of the Senate. So what the heck happened to that red wave that people were talking about? Yeah, yeah, who was promising that? Because it couldn't have been us every day. <laughs> well, thankfully, there's no way to check, but it definitely didn't happen. And according to everybody, only one man was to blame. Look at these headlines. Trump de dumped de and Trumpster buyer out. And look at this op-ed, uh, Mr. DeSantis. Will you be my new daddy? Now who wrote that? Eric Trump. Wow, seems like everybody's turning on Trump. Yeah, and per a company-wide email we got this morning, he's dead to us. Yeah. Now, nearly every candidate Trump backed lost this week, except for one who's still hanging on by a thread, and she's here with us today. Please welcome Carrie Lake. <laughs> Hello there, hi, and greetings from Arizona, where the average age and temperature is 95. Uh, hi, Carrie, and thanks for being here during what's, what must be a very stressful time for your campaign. Hey, my campaign isn't dead yet, even though my camera filter makes it look like I'm in heaven. <laughs> this was a race you'd easily win, yet it's been a real nail-biter. You and your opponent are currently neck and neck. That is because the Maricopa County officials are incompetent, and it's my belief that the election is rigged and the results should be thrown out. Uh, uh, it sounds like some new numbers are coming in, which has you taking a narrow lead over Katie Hobbs. Which is why I have always said, this is a democracy. Trust the system. Trust the voters. Uh, sorry, I spoke too soon. Another batch of votes just came in, and you are now losing again. Because our system is broken, and it always has been. Uh, wait, I'm sorry, I misread that. You're actually back in the lead. But thankfully, now it's fixed. Look, I am 100% confident I'm going to win this election. And I won't stop fighting until every vote is counted, and then some votes are taken away. Because who do Arizonans want leading them? Katie Hobbs, who's hiding in a basement? Or me, Carrie Lake, who lives right here in this beautiful pool of Vaseline? And who's out there every single day at CVS asking black customers if they work here? Well, we are rooting for you, Carrie. We know the votes will go your way. Well, if they don't, I'll burn Arizona to the ground. Hey, wow, well, she was nice. Yeah, I hope the Trump effect doesn't mess with her campaign. Hey, uh, you don't think he still watches our show, do you? Well, he's at his daughter's wedding this weekend, so at least we know he won't call in. <laughs> Hello, it's your favorite president. Uh, uh, New phone, who dis? He, he's just kidding. Hi, Donald. Congratulations on Tiffany's wedding. Who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, they're just doing the vows. Okay, well, great. Well, we were just talking about you. There was that New York Post headline that called you Trumpy Dumpty and said you had a great fall. Well, I agree, I had a great fall. I had a great summer as well. And, uh, <laughs> you know, many people are saying I'll have a great winter, but I'm having a great fall, okay? The leaves are turning red. It's a red wave in terms of tree and with regard to leaf. <laughs> That you're blaming both Sean Hannity and Melania for advising you to endorse Dr. Oz? It's true, it's true. And let me tell you, it's very hard being in a fight with your soulmate and also Melania. But, you know, now all anyone wants to talk about is Ron de Sanctimonious. I know, I'm surprised I know that word too, but. But Ron had it so easy. All uh, right, you said DeSantis has the advantage of sunshine. That's right. Everyone goes to Florida for the sunshine, but look. I made Ron DeSantis, okay? He was going to lose until I sent FBI agents to go and fix his election. Wait, you just admitted to what? But he's ungrateful, and now he's trying to steal my sunshine, just like Len. And, you know, Len, they were a one-hit wonder, okay? Kind of like OMC. And these election results are making us go, 
How bizarre. How bizarre, how bizarre. We're all hearing that all the time, right? How bizarre. Uh, don't you need to, like, walk your daughter down the aisle? Missed it. Anyway, what are you guys talking about? What are you guys talking about? You see Fablemans? Mr. President, I don't know how to tell you this, but we've moved on. We can't have you on the show anymore. What? What did I do? Was it the insurrection? No. The impeachments? No. Blackmailing Ukraine? No. Charlottesville? No. Didn't make wall? No. The murder? What? Kidding. Uh, uh, it's because you lost. Uh, Mr. President, we just don't see a future with you. But you know what? We can still be friends, OK? So bye-bye now. Wait, 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 wait. I have a big announcement. No. November 15th. Hey, don't push me off. I have a big announcement, and it's not what you think. I'm running for president again. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. That was awkward, uh, but we're finally free. Change is on the horizon, and I have a pretty good idea we won't be hearing from him again. And he's calling my phone. And mine. Mine, too. Whoa! <laughs> Carrie, what are you doing here? You think if I lose, I'm just gonna go away? Not on your life. We'll be back for more Carrie and Friends. And live from New York, it's Saturday night!